All right, so you're fixing to watch part two. Part one, if you haven't seen it, uh, I let it go this morning and I don't even know what I'm gonna make for the title. It's probably maybe two for one or something like that. It's a swarm removal and a cutout all within a foot of each other. So uh, if you haven't seen that other video, uh, check for it. I'm gonna name it two for one and then uh, come back to this one so you kind of know what's going on. So now we go to the video. All right, so we made it back home. What we're gonna do is dump these bees out of the vacuum into these. Everybody's been saying, this glitter on the bottom of them. So we're gonna put a coin on the bottom of this hive and dump them in here and then cover it up. The reason why the heat index for today is 105 and we're in the middle of the uh, sun and I don't feel like trying to find a queen in all these bees. So. I'm gonna put this queen excluder on the bottom of the hive. Like that. Put the top on it. Now this hive here is the one that I put that big swarm in uh, one of the last videos and they got away uh, because I didn't put queen in the cage. We got the wind blowing today. Hopefully it ain't gonna be too terribly bad on y'all, but we'll just have to wait and see once I go to edit and the stuff. But I'm gonna pull a couple of these. These two are draw, drawed out comb and the rest of them are plastic foundation. I'm gonna dump the bees in here. We're gonna put the top on it and we're gonna leave them to their own uh, devices. Should be a pretty good amount of bees in here. Sounds like it's full. Just like a swarm for a uh, package of bees. Pop them down. Dump them in. As up in, in the air as they are, I would roll the dice and say they're probably clean. I put my hood on. I didn't get stung, but uh, they weren't being very nice. We're gonna put these frames back in here. We'll leave them for a couple days and come back and check on them. crashing bees we're sliding the uh, inner cover over the top of them which of course now will end up crushing bees because they're on the top but sometimes that's the way it is I just smashed mine and that's mine on my hand it's a little easy it's on here real easy uh, Keep our smashing bees to a minimum. This top is extremely tight on this hive. So we'll leave it about half cocked like that right there. Now with that queen excluder on it, if there is a queen in that hive, she can't get out. And the way I got that uh, cover on it, it's blocking the uh, vent and uh, she won't be able to get out of that way either. We're just gonna have to wait and see how they do with it. I'm kind of speeding through this because we got to check on this swarm we got while we go to. So there that is. Let me give y'all a close up of what's going on in the front. Now if you'll notice right here, there's really no fanning going on whatsoever. As far as saying, hey, there's a queen in here. 
So if I'm gonna roll the dice, I'm gonna say they're gonna be queenless. I'm gonna give them a couple days, see what happens. If they end up not having a queen, I'll throw a frame of brood in there and let them make a queen. The, uh, the brood or the cone that I got out of the hive while ago was so hot that it just pretty much melted. Uh, you wouldn't be able to frame that stuff even if you wanted to. So uh, I didn't even try. It's in a five gallon bucket. And I'll probably end up taking it somewhere off site and dumping it out because uh, let the bees rub it back out. I'm kind of debating on putting it in a trash can and throwing it away because uh, that hive had been sprayed in the video You'll see me take a flashlight and shine a flashlight in the bottom of the hive or in the bottom of that column. And the reason why I didn't show y'all that is because they weren't nothing but a bunch of dead bees in the bottom of it. And they looked like they had been there a while. Of course, there was a couple live bees down there that were covered in honey from me getting that first uh, uh, piece of comb out. And I killed some a few bees doing that too, but there was just a lot of dead bees in the bottom of that thing. So chances are the comb is contaminated and I might just be better off uh, putting it in a trash bag and throwing it away to keep any bees from getting in it. So we're gonna come over here and get us a cinder block, put that nuke on it. I am gonna go through. Bees are still following me and sting me on the arm. But anyway, I'm gonna find me a, a cinder block over here and we're going to uh, put that nuke on it. All right, so I'm gonna put this five frame nuke right here. This is the other hive. If I don't find a queen in this, I'll probably just shake them out on the ground and let them join this hive over here. If I do find a queen, I'll put them some different comb in here. Cause like I said a while ago, the comb that's in here has got a lot of wax moths in this to it. Figure out what I did with my queen clip. Let me find my queen clip and I'll be back. All right, I'd find my queen clip. It was under my back. So we're gonna take the top off of this. See what we got. Do I think it was a swarm? I don't know. Could have been bees hanging out uh, because it was hot. It just happened to be on the limb beside it. So as you can see, we got a pretty good amount of bees in here. If they go to flying out of here like crazy, we know they're queenless. And you can see this comb is crap. It was a swarm. So what I'll do, I'm gonna check see if there's another queen in here. Sometimes you run across swarms that's got multiple queens. And if it is, I might try to introduce that queen into that other hive since that's where it came from. Probably. I'm not seeing another queen. I'm gonna go get them some different frames. Some drawn out, some not drawn out. And uh, that way they won't be behind the eight ball from the get-go. Let me go get some uh, frames right quick. Alrighty. So we ain't got three different frames. They're better than what these are in here. But uh, 
not by much but they're better than like I said they're better than the other ones do is I'm gonna put this queen cage right in here like this. I'm gonna leave one frame out for a couple days until these bees get oriented to this box. Then when they uh, get oriented to it, I'll put that other frame in there. So give me a few minutes, and we'll uh, do a closing on the on this video. So there we go. We got that uh, the bee vac emptied and checked on that swarm, and we got a queen in it. Like I said, I'll leave her in there for about two days, and then let her out, and we'll put another frame back in there. Uh, last time I caught a swarm, y'all seen it? I didn't cage the queen and. They uh, packed their crap up and left. So there you go. If you got any questions about that, let me know. Uh, like I said, it's a 105 out here today, so I don't feel much about playing with the bees. I just went and got those because I had to. Uh, but I'll check on that other hive. If I don't find the queen in it, uh, I'll throw a frame of brood in there and let them uh, take off from there. Or I might combine them back with this swarm that we caught from there. I'll let y'all know. Of course, y'all see it on a video. If y'all got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, we'll see y'all on the next one. So there you go. We found a queen in our swarm. And uh, I haven't checked the other box to see uh, if we've got a queen in it. I'm kind of doubtful on it, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, my next video that's going to be coming out actually shows those two uh, hives and I think we had some crossover from the 10 frame back to the uh, the 5 frame nuke. Matter of fact, I need to get her released tomorrow. I should have released her today. Oh well, as you can see, it's dark. So we'll get her tomorrow. We'll let her out. That just give more time to get everything cleaned up for her to get ready to go in and start laying. So thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see y'all in the next one. Over here are some videos that I also think you would like. So go ahead and click on one of them and continue watching. I do appreciate y'all watching. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.